Back everyone, 707 now. We're using our heads for more than just a hat rack this morning. <laughs> it's Wise Guy Wednesday and today we're learning momentum and collisions. And joining us live from his lab after a siesta, a vacation, is Matt Sellin, the Wise Guy. Nice to have you back, Matt. Hi, Matt. Hi, Jennifer. Hi. Okay, so we talked about collisions last time where things stick together. And those tend to be collisions where things sort of get crunched, like between two cars, the cars deform and crunch together. You have a lot of friction and you waste a lot of energy, you produce a lot of heat. There's another category of collision where things bounce off each other without losing any energy. Those are called elastic collisions. And I can show you what happens with those on my air track here. I just, instead of sticking together, they're gonna bounce apart. And so what you see, when the things have the same mass, whatever speed the one comes in with, the other one leaves with. We know that momentum is conserved when we do that, and also energy is conserved. And it turns out that during these collisions where energy is conserved, the speed at which things approach each other before they hit is the same as the speed that they separate with after they have collided. Okay, and so I have this little gadget here called a Newton's Cradle which can illustrate this. If I take one of these balls <coughs> and I send it in, I get one ball coming out. If I take, let's say, four of these balls and send them in, I get four balls coming out. This is because both momentum and energy have to be conserved in this collision, which is kind of interesting. Now, the other interesting thing with collisions like this is that if you do it in two dimensions, like for example when you're playing pool, if one of the balls is at rest to begin with, then the angle between the two balls after the collision is 90 degrees. And it's a good thing to keep this in mind when you're playing pool. So that means that if you put the ball on the dot where you spot the ball after you scratch and you shoot the cue ball in it, if this ball goes in this pocket, this other ball is going to go in the other pocket. That's one of those things you have to remember. And I can illustrate this with this cool... Uh, these are pucks of dry ice. So these are now basically like little air hockey table here. And things don't even have to col or touch in order to, to have a collision. These are magnets. And you'll notice that they collide and deflect off each other without even touching. But the same thing happens. The angle that they leave after the collision is 90 degrees, even if they don't even touch. So that's pretty cool. And amazingly enough, this works even if I make them attract each other. Now, they still leave at 90 degrees to each other, which is pretty cool. Okay, so <clears throat> before we run out of time, what I wanna do is I wanna uh, ask a question for next time. All right. Okay, now, on my holiday, one of the things we did was we went to Disney down mm -hmm. in Florida. And we went on a lot of roller coasters, and Space Mountain scared me, and my daughter Kathy loved it. But anyways, <laughs> if you go on a roller coaster, you'll notice that the first hill is always really, really big, and then after that, the, the next hills are smaller and smaller. And I want somebody to explain to me why the first hill on a roller coaster always tends to be the biggest hill that you get hmm. to. Someone has to explain it to you, Matt. <laughs> that's... So, somehow I don't think that's quite the case, but that's how you win something, right? But basically what we're saying here on what we did today, we need to keep this in mind if we ever want to master the game of pool, right? Absolutely, yes. This is very important for, for shooting pool, which, which is all physicists have to do. It's like a required hobby. Good. Okay. All, all right. right. Thanks, Matt. Good information. All right. If you have questions for the wise guy, you can email Matt at wiseguy at uiuc.edu. He has a website that you can get to by going through ours as well at wcia.com. Click on the morning show and it'll take you right to the Wise Guy webpage along the right hand side. Send us, send us what you think about the answer to his mm -hmm. question there too. What, why is the hill so big on the roller coaster? Well, a lot of people sometimes submit questions for Matt. Mm -hmm. uh, there was a question about dew points this week, so we'll send those on to him too. Mm -hmm.